One thing, I also used to sponsor some time back, about 91, 92 Candy Sports Club. There, there was a guy called Tony Graney, you know, mm -hmm. when he was uh, in Sri Lanka, I sponsored him. What has gone wrong is, when one club tried to pick all the people who mm -hmm. are talented players from all the other clubs and put them into one basket mm -hmm. and skip them to sit down uh, as reserves mm -hmm. and where other clubs are being, uh, these kids are being deprived of playing for other clubs also and automatically you know it's become a one side story and uh, so every day the candy sports clubs keep winning but the day, I tell you, the day the, the, the sponsorship of candy sports club if they lose you will can see the gain, everything will go back to very bad level in uh, candy sports. Are you but attributing the Sri Lanka, the present status of Sri Lankan rugby to that of the sponsorships or the patronage given to candy sports club and uh, candy sports club drawing the best players from, from wherever they come from? Yes, I, I, I say that. Why is that? Because uh, candy sports club have good sponsors who, who pays the boys well. Mm -hmm. And so they, they can come and play for Candy Sports Club. And so how can you blame that, Mr. Fonseca? Because uh, I'm not blaming, but what I'm trying to say, I mean, they should not get top talented boys and get them to sit on the bench as well, isn't it? You know, mm -hmm. either they should be. Uh, if if you take Candy Sports Club, if they can make two teams, and if they put the both teams uh, from A or B to come up in the, uh, in, the in a league, they will come to the finals mm -hmm. and. You can't, you would not know which side would win. Mm -hmm. So the, all the players are so talented, you know, they're keeping it um, like a, like a, uh, it's, it's uh, like everything for themselves, isn't it? Since you got into this topic, don't you think Candy Sports Club has uh, brought the, the level and the recognition that was given to a rugby player and the club has at least tried to make Sri Lankan rugby players semi-professionals. Yes, I agree on that. Mm -hmm. I agree on to some extent on that. But what 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 the Sri Lankan rugby union should do? They should actually come and say, okay, as all the clubs, all these clubs can easily pay these boys. Should come and you know they should be professional game. They should do a lot of things, and it has become very politicalized now. You know, I mean, so many interference. Uh, be be very honest with you. After some time, I, I even have not gone to much of these uh, matches to watch my earlier, you know, when, when because we, we know the results, right? But earlier, uh, when I can remember one time, Candy Sports Club had seven or five foreign players playing, but mm -hmm. Candy Sports Club lost to police, mm -hmm. right? I'll tell you the players, Tony Graney, Kitty, Batty, uh, I can't remember the standout's name, about, about five guys, mm -hmm. foreigners were playing. but. The, uh, the police, they didn't have a single foreign oh, player, mm -hmm. but they won. Mm -hmm. And Priyanka Ekanaka was playing, you know, that Imti was playing, you know, mm -hmm. that match. So uh, the, I can still remember that game, so you won the you know. Mm -hmm. That's what, that, at that time, the, the standard was so high, all the other clubs. Mm -hmm. But now, now you see the, all the other clubs, are, you know, except for CR, probably they're hanging on. Mm -hmm. All the other clubs are, you know, not doing very well. Well, Mr. Fonseca, now, uh, uh, Candy Sports Club has been holding sway for last almost 12 years. They are nearing uh, to, to 15 years of uh, dominance in rugby. Yeah. So, in that context, I feel that uh, you sound, you are a little opposed to Candy Sports Club sponsoring the boys and drawing the boys from other clubs. And the boys have... Uh, have a choice to choose because they are being offered good money and that's all about their future. Whereas the other clubs are not making a tangible effort to retain these players. So why do you have to blame Candy Sports Club in that context? No, um, no. if you want to develop rugby in Sri Lanka, you can hire boys. Mm -hmm. But you should not hire everybody who are, we say, that number one, number two, number three, three fullbacks. Mm -hmm. If you hire all the all the num all those people and allow only the number one to play mm -hmm. and keep other two boys sitting on the bench. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's a crime, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, this is, this is way I look. If you want to develop, you know, all the other clubs also should have good players to play. Well, in rugby, we have seen certain stalwarts mm -hmm. 
who purported to be uh, the, the developers of rugby yeah. and who were also genuine, genuine developers. But we see a vast difference in this. And rugby has been a victim of, of an interim club, interim committee. Yeah. And we see that the referee society and the rugby union at loggerheads. So this is not going to do any good to the game. I so agree in your opinion, how, what steps should we take to promote rugby and to, to, li to leverage rugby to the next level? One thing they could easily get this political interference out and have the elections and have uh, 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 normal uh, committees to run these things. Secondly, uh, uh, people, uh, if, if a person is coming to hold a position in of these associations, only to be as a prestige thing, he should not do that. Mm -hmm. If you, are, if you are a person who is really committed to do some work, mm -hmm. after retirement if you have some time or before retirement if you have some time, you want to come and work, yes, you should do it. Mm -hmm. And I think um, this sports body should be not, not be handled or meddled or manipulated by the political uh, situations in the country, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the assessment and the opinion of Mr. Lakshman de Fonseca, the managing director of JF Packaging, who is, all, who is also a rugby player, and his opinion with regard to rugby. Uh, now I take a short break. Of when I'll be right back, I'll be uh, armed with some questions which are more timely, relevant to politics and the economic trends in the country. Let me take a short break. Welcome back to the round table. My guest today is Mr. Lakshman Defonseca, Managing Director of JF Packaging Power Limited. Uh, well, uh, Mr. Fonseca, can you remember the days that uh, you were caned at school and once you were caned for 26 times? Yes, yes, yes. You know. the, and actually, I was in grade 3 or 4 at the junior, junior, junior boarding school. Um, there was a guy who, I mean, after after playing, you know, he has gone and opened, a, have turned the tap upside down, and he has opened it. Then the tap, the water flows like a shower, right? Mm -hmm. So he was having a shower there. After he went, I, I I was also enjoying the same thing. And then we had a very strict master. I had a lot of respect for him, called Mr. Nyana Prakash, mm -hmm. our senior boarding house master. He walked in, and he, he moment he saw this, he got so angry, he dragged me in my bathing trunks to. The, his room, mm 